Howdy folks, BC here. You're watching Deuce and Guns, and today we're going to talk about DIY custom multiple earplugs. When I first started out shooting, I used a set of these. They work pretty well, they're super cheap, $10, $15 at most, but they get really hot on extended shooting sessions. Uh, it causes a lot of pressure against the head, which can cause headaches, and they're kind of unwieldy, and you have to hang them on something when you have them off or set them down. So if you're at a uh, shooting match where you're walking around a lot, these are going to be hanging off your uh, range bag or something like that all the time. And you're constantly taking them off and putting them back on. That's not very fun. So eventually I did come across these, of course, on the Hickok 45 channel. And basically they work really well too and they're also pretty cheap. You basically twist them in a little bit and you're good to go. When you're out walking around you want to take them on and off, they're a lot easier to take on and off and they just hang around your neck like that. Not a bad deal at all. But what if something better? What if there's something better? Now, I never thought about getting custom molded earplugs, but then I came across a video on a site called English Shooting. It's a channel here on YouTube. I'll leave the link in the description below the video. And he went out and got a professional to mold his earplugs. Well, I don't have a professional nearby, and they're fairly expensive. But I came across two options on uh, Amazon that I really liked. Number one is the cheaper of the two, Radians custom molded earplugs here. You basically mix two halves together, stick them in your ear, let them cure, you're good to go. And the second option I came across is called Decibels with a Z and it's two pieces of hard plastic that you heat up in boiling water and then you stick them in your ears and mold them up. Now the Decibels actually claims a noise reduction rating of 31 which is higher than the 26 that is claimed by the Radians which is higher than the 25 claimed by the Howard Light. In the Radians package you get the instruction booklet, a little carry bag for your finished product, and two little tubs of silicone putty that you're going to mix together to harden, kind of like an epoxy. And now let's get started with the Radiance product. Step one, thoroughly clean and wash your ears and hands. Already done. One step ahead of you. Step two, gently remove the material from each container and divide into two halves of equal size. All right, let's get that done. That's roughly the same size. Feels like used chewing gum. And reading step three and four on the instruction manual, I take these two halves here of the product. I'm going to mix them together for 30 to 45 seconds and then apply into the ear and mold my earplug. I cannot speak or remove my jaw at all while the product is curing and it takes 10 minutes to cure at least. So that's going to be a silent moment for me. I will not be speaking on camera and I'll just edit that part out and probably play some video games. So let's go ahead and mold this up and stick it in my ear. Okay, take two halves. It really does feel like used chewing gum. And not even like good stuff either, like juicy fruit that you found under the table that was not yours but stuck to your knee or something that you're trying to get up from. That's what it reminds me of, just gross. Okay. Mold this together with having clean hands and clean ears. I've already washed all that and was ready to go before I started filming. 30 to 45 seconds or until all the white swirls are gone. It makes a blue ear plug. I think they had other colors available, but I just grabbed the first one I saw. These are about 10 to, uh, 10 to $15 for the uh, set for the kit. It really is starting to stick to you. Ugh, okay. All right, that's good. Here we go. Oh, that feels gross. All right, well, that is my impression of my inner ear, apparently. Huh. All right. I was not expecting it to degas through the entire time. I actually had it in there for about 20 minutes because it just kept on. It felt like I had poured a bunch of hydrogen peroxide in my ear and it was bubbling. Uh, that's what it sounded like because it was degassing the entire time. It has formed a pretty hard 
Yeah, actually a pretty hard piece of silicone. That's interesting. And it was pretty quiet for, for this side of the head at least. So I'm going to do my uh, left hand side here and uh, report back. And now let's take a look at the decibels. First of all, I got the sleeve that comes off the box. Toss that. Open up the box and you have another storage bag with the actual decibels logo on it. And an instruction manual. Toss you the box. <laughs> now inside your storage bag you've got a plastic bag that has the moldable plastic inserts that actually molds to your ear. You have to heat them up, of course. And then you have these little silicone tips that go way down into your ear canal that are basically like normal earplugs. All right, let's get to it. The instructions say to take one of the plastic moldable parts. This is marked R for right. Put one of the actual silicone earplugs on it and stick it in boiling water. That water was boiling just a few seconds ago. Now I'm supposed to leave in there for five minutes to soften up. It's been five minutes. Now the instructions say to use a metal spoon, I don't know, to dip it out and let it cool for 30 seconds. I think it's cooled enough now and it is very tacky. Put the spoon up here. And now I'm just going to stick it in and mold it to my ear just like the other one. It's very warm. <laughs> it's hard to tell without having, you know, with having one ear open and one ear completely closed. Alrighty, well, now I'm supposed to let that sit up. I believe it's five minutes. Let me go check. Allow the mold to rest in your ear for five minutes. One of the things I like about the Decibels product that the Radians do not have is the fact that if I don't like this, if I screwed this up somehow, I just stick it back in the hot water, re-soften it, re-mold it. You, it can't, you can't go wrong. So uh, it is more expensive. It's twice as much. It's like $20, $25, I think. Okay, let me dig this out of here now. It's really in there pretty good. Let it sit there for actually about 10 minutes. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, well, that's out of there. You can see my funky little ear impression there. Hopefully the camera picks that up. That's a weird one right there. It's a, it's a hard plastic. That's not a soft plastic. That's actually a pretty hard, stiff plastic, unlike the Radians, which is a, a stiff silicone, but it's still a flexible silicone. Alrighty, well, it did feel pretty good. Even though it's a hard plastic, it's molded right to your ear. I'm not sure how long I'll be able to stand it. I'm not sure if, if it'll become uncomfortable over time. But again, that's what this test is all about. You've now seen me custom mold my earplugs, and now I'm going to put them to the test. Every time I go to the shooting range the next couple of months, I'm going to take, of course, my good old favorites here, my Howard Light Specials, and I'm going to compare them to the Memphis, Tennessee made Radians, to the Decibels made in Colorado. I'm not sure which one's going to come out on top. Maybe you guys have some suggestions on that. If not, of course, if you have any comments or questions about the video or anything else, go ahead and leave me in the comment box below the video. And, of course, I will make this link right here live in a couple of months, probably in August sometime, after I've done a full test on all of these earplugs. And, as always, you guys have a great day. See ya!